Hello and welcome to the Phoenix Dev Show Off, where I'm going to show you all the stuff that happened in Phoenix over the past two months. So this would cover a period before the official release of Phoenix 5 and a period after the official release of Phoenix 5. So what happened during that time was that we released Phoenix 5. Most importantly, we did this for Max and Maya at the same time as we always do. And it happened on the 26th of May 2022. Another specific thing is that V-Ray 6 support will be available only in Phoenix 5. So Phoenix 4 would not be able to support V-Ray 6. Now I made the nightly builds public. So finally you can see them again at these links. And all the new features, all the bug fixes would be going in there every day. They are open to everyone who has a Phoenix license. So if you are in trouble or if you want to check the new things, please download a nightly build. There are also installers for V-Ray 6 for both Max and Maya in the nightlies. And also, since V-Ray 6 is still in public beta, its SDK continues to change. So you need to install V-Ray 6 and Phoenix 5 from the exact same day. Otherwise, be prepared for trouble. So with Phoenix 5's release, we have new videos. We have an inspirational video from the 3D team. So I'm going to quickly show you some parts of it. We have this cool fire simulation, which turns into a mesh. We also have a long technical overview of all of the new things where me and Georgi all go over the Phoenix change walk and show you how everything works and uh, tell you everything that we know about it. So, for example, this is a part of the video where we show a noise mask used to modulate the creation of foam over the ocean surface. And last but not least, Corey managed to finish the first part of the Phoenix Basics series, which is a new tutorial series coming up, which shows all of the fundamentals and tells about everything that you need to know in order to uh, simulate, preview, and render Phoenix. And it shows you all the things that are going on under, under the hood, so you have all the tools available to uh, just go crazy and make everything that you want. So it has a lot of viewport previews, renders, it has some cool visualizations like uh, this one, which uh, explains the uh, inner workings of Phoenix. And there are more parts of the video coming up. So this guy uh, has been wor working on uh, adding variation to the foam patterns. So there is a new size variation option. Before Phoenix 5, the foam patterns always had the same sizes and they were pretty boring. So now they're more interesting. And there is also a stringy option, which allows you to control these strings that form between the different patterns. I also optimized all linear interpolations around the code. This speeds up many different parts of the simulation, some parts of the preview and the rendering as well. So now Phoenix is generally faster. I also updated the Ocean 2 bar preset because Suave found that it had a ton of differences with the ship in the ocean examples and tutorial that we have on the dock side. So now they are pretty much equalized. Also, the classic advection method is now hidden from the user interface. Multipass and forward transfer fully cover it and uh, it should be uh, accessible by script for anyone who needs it, but otherwise now it's hidden to make things more simple. Uh, since April, I've been adding sources to the standalone simulator. I also uh, have been pouring all of the options of the simulator, and now only the foam and splash options remain. When I'm done with this, I can start adding all the other Phoenix nodes, like the forces, tuners, mappers. We still don't have texture support, and we still don't have support for animated options or animated geometries, so these should be coming in as well. The voxel shader, uh, now it's available for Mac for Max and Maya, it made it into the Phoenix 5 official release. And also, just the other day, I added export from uh, 3ds Max to VR scenes, which allows rendering with V-Ray 6 GPU in Max. So this is only in the V-Ray 6 nightlies, and it should be publicly available soon. Finally, we have walk file verbosity. So until now, Phoenix printed a lot of data into the Phoenix walk, and this could even slow down some low res simulations where the frames were short. So now there is the option to control the verbosity. By default, now Phoenix prints a lot less data and the errors and warnings. So if you need this, you can uh, go into more details. 
So what came after the Phoenix 5 release? I managed to speed up the buffered fluidity method a lot. So now the toolbar uh, fire preset, which is the, the first preset on the toolbar, is a, a lot faster. Also, the buffered fluidity method produced different results every time you run it. So now it's finally fixed. I fixed some bird volume issues, some splash and mist issues, and I also added the ability to uh, spawn mist particles directly from the Phoenix source. Now the build texture in Max has a new option, render time only. You have seen this option on the particle texture in Max, and it's an optimization option which allows, uh, allows it to simulate faster in case the grid texture is used over some material that gets updated in the viewport. This slows down the simulation needlessly, so you can just enable this option and simulate faster. And also I finished adding two tips to uh, all the 3ds Max simulators, the delivery volume grid and the voxel shader. So now it should be easier to understand what an option does if you've never seen it without having to go to the doc site. Goyan implemented a new IceCube's active body toolbar preset, so now it's much easier to set up active bodies. Here it is, so it creates all the needed nodes, connects them, and you have a one-click active body simulation. Also, we have a new Stormy Sea toolbar preset, which looks like this. So this has been waiting for a long time, and we finally have it. Okay, and he managed to unblock another preset by fixing a nasty issue with the active bodies and the bullets over. So now we also have a speedboat toolbar preset. And this is a Cosmos asset. Cosmos is so cool that it's almost as cool as Blender. So Cal also uh, fixed an important issue that sadly made it into the official Phoenix 5 release. Pausing liquid simulations when uh, there were any moving bodies or active bodies could freeze Max and Maya. So now this is fixed in the 90s. If you experience this issue, please get an IT build and it will be fixed. And so also he added two tips to the two new active body helper nodes. Zvetelin added texture support for the uh, small capacity in the GPU preview. Uh, so now you are able to replace the small capacity or modulate it with the texture. So, for example, in this viewport preview, we have a large smoke preset modulated uh, with a gradient, gradient ramp, creating a hole in the, uh, in the smoke, just basically removing parts of the opacity with the texture. So there is a known issue that in Maya, the preview might not update. We gotta fix this. Uh, Georgi created the scenes that served as the base for the Stormy Sea preset and as the base for just uh, the speedboat toolbar preset. And he's been adding a lot of new stuff to the docs, information about all the new Phoenix 5 features. He's been uh, doing release testing and handled a lot of the release preparation course. So thank you, Georgi. Hammer keeps working on new tutorials, so you can even get some previews of those on his Instagram. And here is how a stormy ocean tutorial is shaping up. We have some still images and some videos. And he's also working on a tutorial showing off the new Phoenix 5 voxel shader uh, in a setup where you could create white water without actually having particles, which was the way to have white water before. Swavi has finished update, updating the uh, new docs videos for the quick setup toolbar presets. So now here is the updated page showing off all the toolbar presets. And they were quite outdated. They used Phoenix 3 until now, so now we have the new, the new look of all the presets. We also have the Easter egg where the ink in water preset, if you use it over several geometries at once, it creates different colors. And also here is the updated motion preset. As I told you before, Corey finished and published the first 25 minutes of the Phoenix Basic series. There is more to come and he has uh, improved his tools in order to be able to 
uh, move quickly through everything that remains and stay tuned for the next parts. And here is a special mention to Grigori Glezakos, who helped us a lot during the preparation of the Phoenix 5 release. Uh, he just created some awesome simulations in no time. Some of his images landed on the Phoenix installer. And here is a simulation which I just cannot not show you. Here is an active body, which is a speedboat. This scene also has the new uh, foam pattern size variation. And it's awesome. Thank you so much, Grigori. And finally, uh, you know the developer's wife. So here is how uh, some of us uh, took the Phoenix 5 release. And here is how it went for some other people in the team. So thank you for watching and see you later.